Yeah. Martial arts. And now, uh, the, the Outsiders um, is now a Broadway uh, uh, play. Have you seen it? I have. I have. And 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 what did you think? I, I loved it. I yeah. loved it. The, the, the cast, uh, the production is just, just wonderful. It's just... You know, that book, I read that book, uh, yeah. it was written in the 60s, I read it in the 70s, Same. and, um, you know, uh, got to be in the movie in the 80s, and mm. now here we are in 2024, it's the best, best musical on Broadway. When it, you saw it, did you, uh, did it bring back memories? Um, yes, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's been such a big part of my life, and that role has been, it's, uh, held such a special place to me, yeah. for right. me, you know, I get to say the stay gold pony boy line and yeah. all that, you know, you're doing it for Johnny and all yeah. those classes. We're doing it for Johnny! Yeah, right, I mean, it's, <laughs> you good, you Johnny, got everything. man. You're a fan. I love, I love oh, Mark, yeah. he's got the crazy Whenever I saw he Matt really Dillon, whenever I saw Matt Dillon do that scene, I would always do it, like, yeah. whenever he did it, yeah. We yeah. see Ralph once a year outside of the studio at a, at a barbecue. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I have to control Mark, yeah. I'm like, please, do not do, do the not swan, do not do the swan do kick. <laughs> The stuff. Yeah. Just this Just one leave, time. Leave Ralph alone. Hey, so I met I met your fa you with your family the first time I met you. Yeah. They were it was it was like being the at whole a family it was like being at a Comic Con. <laughs> um, <laughs> Francis so so Coppola directed you and directed you and that, that yes. great stellar cast in that movie. And I hear he had some interesting things to get you guys into character. Did he, now the, the Soches and the Greasers. Yeah, well, Francis, uh, the great Francis Coppola, um, would, um, uh, came from a theater background and did a lot of theater stuff. So he liked to put, I mean, the rehearsal process of The Outsiders is probably one of the most memorable because he was um, creating environments, creating behavior, creating the essence of, of touching on the reality of that lifestyle. And so, so that, that story is, uh, you know, the less fortunate and the more fortunate. So we as greasers, we were, which were the, you know, the coolest kids, uh, were, would have less. You know, we'd be on the lowest floor of the hotel and we'd be given just our script pages in a, you know, with a ring clasp where the socias would have leather bound scripts and be on the top floors and he was setting up those that kind of environment um, and uh, would give me tasks um, saying okay listen you're a homeless you know you you don't have a, a happy family life and don't have uh, a place to stay so here's five dollars and get through the day with this and see how it feels. You know, and I enjoyed that stuff. Sure. As a young actor, is just yeah. grasping yeah. on that, so. Um, well, I tell you what, that had to drop, that had to drive Rob Lowe crazy. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that had to they drive They did not him. have the thousand thread I, sheets I in the hotel room. I can't imagine <laughs> Rob Lowe yeah. on the lower floor yeah, no, with y'all. Uh, he was on, we were on the sixth floor. I mean, it was, you know, it was like, Cruz and and Lo and Dylan and wow. Gio and C. Thomas Howell. It was Amazing. it was a very special time, man.